Hi, my name's Steve. I'm Dave. And we're from ModWheel, and today we're going to have a look at the new Biscuit Tin Library that we've just released. So navigate to where the instruments are kept, and you'll see all the patches in there, 35 instruments. We'll begin with the acoustic guitar. So as you can see, there's uh, hand and plectrum uh, performances. On the keyboard there you can see the pink uh, key switching. It's also written on the screen, if you could circle that, Steve. C1 long, D1 short. So I'll just go through those and just show you the differences. So Long. Short. Mute. And then you get uh, semitone slide ups and tone hammer offs. As well as that, you've got the green keys here, which are dynamic key switches. So uh, when you open the instrument, it defaults to the C1 long note. So at the moment, it's set on long note. If I hit A, it'll, it'll bring in a short. So. play that so long as you have that dynamic key switch it'll, down. It'll revert back to the, whichever pink key you have triggered to start with. Okay. Um, uh, let's so, uh, look at the effects. We will, uh, as well as obviously there's a reverb level and a cabinet switch which just... Okay, so uh, there's a, an effects tab here and so for each of the patches there is this effects panel which has these various effects on it. Uh, rotary. <laughs> Set fast as there's a there's a delay with the level and the time. And of course uh, a phaser. So that's the basic guitar, the acoustic guitar, bunch of options there. Okay, so uh, the second patch is uh, called Droney. I'll load Droney low, which is the same as the one above it, but it's detuned. What it is, is it's had all the attack taken off it. And also, uh, because we recorded all these at 96k, it means we can kind of detune these a couple of octaves and still sounds very nice. And it still has the same key switching, so maybe the mute one will be something good, I don't know. Oh, yep. Yeah. And again, you've got access to the, the effects panel if you want to change it further. Okay, so that's Droney. Uh, the next one is a rotary, which is... Self-explanatory, yep. the saturated. Oh, let's hear the saturated one. It's a, uh, the first of the sort of, with a bit of grime. on there. This is saturated rotary. Okay. Uh, this one gets... So the this is an arpeggiated one, which is obviously a, a bit of a performance one. Actually, before you do that, Steve, open the arpeggiator tab so you can just see what's... Uh, so this one comes, as well as an effects tab, it's got an arpeggiator tab, and you can see there uh, the kind of... We've programmed that, a bit of a rhythmic yeah. dynamic to it. You can see if you circle the rate, you can have 16th notes or different notes, but... Let's hear it. And the note order as well. So you get something like this. That sort of thing. Lovely. Um, and you do get, I think it does still work on the key switching, doesn't it? So yes. if, I, if we had the mute down... Uh, 
Uh, okay, uh, number eight is using the context built-in drum computer, it's possible to create, well, patterns. Uh, patterns. Uh, in this instance, each of these, each of these blue keys up the end here. Circle it, are uh, you holding it down yeah. so you get the nice circle? Oh. No, you can go around it without scream, scrambling on it. It's not doing it, David. No, you don't see it now, you only see it once it's recorded, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, so you've got these. Uh, you've got these. So each each one of these keys relates to the key that it is. So C is a pattern in C, D sharp, D, etc. So, so you can play a song. What sort of song was that? Ain't no use to sit at what do I be? If you don't know by now. Ain't no use to sit at what do I be? See? That <laughs> oh, was a song. <laughs> what a crazy song. Okay. Uh, pattern, let's go to song two. Okay. That was very nice. I liked that. Now this one, uh, they're not. It doesn't relate to the it's key. All one, all it's all in one key, just variation, so that you can. Of course, the other thing is you can also utilise the other notes and. The... Um, and the key switching, the key switching, and the dynamic key switching uh, also work with these. So here's your basic pattern. You get a few variations on it until you get up. So, all, you know, all sorts of patterns you can cool. turn into something if you'd like. Ah, the glissando. Um, now, this is slides up and down and various effects using the biscuit tin guitar. And can you use the uh, tool and circle the thing called the, with the speed? There's the speed control here, uh, uh, which utilising the tone machine function within contact means you can... So, I'll just play you some... What is here? So, <laughs> Variety of slide up and slide down. So then, so depending on the depending on the tempo of the song, you might find that either any one of those is too long or too short. You can adjust. You can adjust them. Uh, yeah. Bearing in mind that using the speed control, if you get too slow, it, uh, it does it introduces an out effect, which is kind of cool. That's a usable sound. <laughs> okay. okay, well that's that. Um, so but that's the end of the acoustic guitar section. We're now moving into the electric guitar. That's so what I wanted to say. It kind of repeats what we've had, uh, but the guitar's been played through an amplifier and got a different sound and that we a bit more distortions and things. But and you have a attack nod too. Um, sometimes the attacks are possibly a bit hard. So you can wind it off a bit. same effects panel but with the addition of an amplifier so you can um, wind up the drive even more. Let's uh, hear it. Uh, we had, the, we had the droney low on the first one. Let's hear droney at a normal... Um, <laughs> Uh, then there's various levels of dirt. distortion and dirt. So there's very various uh, filthy, filthy deep. That's, Can you load filthy deep? Yeah, I, I think. Was just gonna, yeah, it's that's been quite detuned. A, it's kind of cool. And um, I like this with the mute.
sure someone can do something good with that. You'd think so. Uh, all on. Let's... Actually, all on, all on. Uh, let's put that on because, so, and now if you open the effects, we've, we've you know, on. These, these, yeah, everything's on, but in settings that we, we think are uh, useful. <laughs> So, um, mm. you know, you can alter any of those uh, however you want. That's, that's right. Let's have fun with it. Moody delay. Let's hear that. Um. So that's the delay. Um. Moody delay low is... Same but um, detuned. Uh, the phaser and the rotary is self-explanatory. That's on the effects panel. Um, dirty verb. Hang on, there's quite a good dirty verb. Uh, dirty verb. Let's hear that. Um, and that's just with a big. Adjust the rev level of yeah. return. Um, if you go into the uh, click the spanner or the wrench tool, uh, you could. We've left that convolution reverb window open, and c can you point to the preset button? And under there is actually a whole lot of presets that come with contact. So we've chosen one and worked on it, but you you can, of course, go in and alter that. Okay. Uh, uh, there's a wire patch which is on the mod wheel. If anything, any of the names, if they feature MW in the name, it means that the mod wheel is assigned to doing something. Key switches operate in exactly the same way. Okay. Um, okay. So that's that's the end of the ac acoustic and electric um, guitar, as you know, played in a vaguely normal way. Uh, we move on to the percussion sounds that you can generate from something like this. First one's just a group of hits. Poor old biscuit tin. And it's also, uh, it has an arpeggiator function. As you can see, there's the arpeggiator tab. So you can change the rate. You could make that an eighth or triple eight. And it would be in tempo, whatever tempo yeah, your whatever session's tempo. at. Uh, the swing as well, you can Let's see what change. that does. Anyway, okay. And also, if you take, go back to the front panel, Steve, uh, switch ARP off and then just turn the le echo level up, maybe echo time and level up somewhere, because if you didn't, you can just play it as. Whatever, so that's that. Uh, 26 is, uh, feels played with brushes. Now if you, if you look at these uh, down here, the, the bottom group of notes in blue, uh, just your regular, Kit, what you might call um, kick and snare sounds, 
Uh, and the next lot is the brush rhythms. Uh, and the next lot is the same, the same rhythms, but they've been treated in a different way. These ones here use um, the beat machine function of contact, and these ones use time machine. And depending on the tempo or sort of sound you want, one will probably sound better than the other. What tempo are we at at the moment? We're at 110. 110. So, so say if I um, go, where's a There's that there, and that doesn't sound as good at this tempo. It's got more artifact to it. So, so let's try changing the tempo. If we change the tempo to Take say it up to 140. And that one's sounding, this one's sounding, sounding better at that better. tempo. The other thing is that it has is the arpeggiator, uh, which if you, it'll just play the front of the note, obviously. Um, you can get some pretty cool um, rhythms. Oh. Um, hits and dinks. Can you yeah, turn the arpeggiator off? No, I just want to play. There's more sounds in this. This is uh, arpeggiator off. So there's your there's your um, bass drum and snare sounds or whatever. But once you get up here, you get all these sounds as well. So if you put arpeggiator on, you might get some interesting. So you can have fun with that. Uh, again, you can turn the ARP off and just put a delay on if you want. As in. Whatever you want. Uh, anything else to show on that? I don't think so. All right, moving on. Okay, next one is Percussion Hits Dink's Drum Computer Mod Wheel. Okay, so this, now you'll see these teal or cyan colored keys up the top end here. They've got drum, the contact drum computer sequences recorded into them. So it gives so you a we've variety got of, so you get the same kit down the bottom. Same kit down the bottom. Etc. And up on the, up on these cyan keys, we've got. Okay, now what's interesting about this is you get quite a good uh, variety of things you can do with this. Um, because these are of the there are often events that are more than one note, like that. The ARP, this release, will say how much of those events are played, how long each of the sequence notes is, is dependent on this release. And then you have this one called Groove, which is basically um, adjusting the time machine function with contact, so the speed of the sample plays. So sometimes these events, so hang on, let's just, I'll try and demonstrate. So wind up the release. Okay, now depending on what tempo you're at, so say that was 140, I'd probably be able to turn that groove up so, we, so the sequence played faster to take into account the tempo we're now at. Samples, samples play faster. So I'll take that down. What I'm trying to explain is, um, with these in varying tempos, you can get the feel sitting better. You can, with the groove function, you could make it sit back, or you could make it push a little bit. And how much of this, how much of the release you want, whether you want a sort of staccato-y sound or a more uh, long note sound. Also, the mod wheel put a distortion on.
yeah. you've got quite a lot of choice of just how you could get those feels yeah. sitting and how they sound. And you get, a um, what do you get, 11 or something op variations on that feel. 12. Okay, and then you get another version, which is actually a detuned version of that just because it sounded good. And then you get a third drum computer one with uh, different feels. Keep doing the wrong octave. Again, turn, turn the release up and get it. Again, actually, let's take reel. this down. Actually, I'm going to take this tempo down and try and just show you uh, yeah, 90. It, let's yeah. say play at 90. So if I take the release down, it's going to get much shorter. And, and with this, I'll be able to pull the groove back and get this sitting. Let's take the release right up. If it gets a bit clicky, sometimes you might want to adjust the attack on it just to, just to soften that a bit. Soften the... That's quite nice, isn't it? Okay, moving right along to the synthesizer section of the library. You get four patches of synthesizer. Starting with the Harrington 1200. 1200 it's yes. got a mod wheel. Uh, what does the mod wheel do? Does a sawtooth... It brings um, on a sawtooth uh, modulation. The uh, take... <laughs> Takes a little while for this one to load. It's using the time machine function of contact, and uh, as, as a result, it's just a bit slow. But which gives us the ability to, or you, as the user, the ability to stretch the sample or not. So just play. Let's see where. Now, if you that's the mod so wheel that, affecting it. So there's the sawtooth mod wheel affecting the sawtooth. Now, that's without. Okay, now if I, that's with the sample um, really stretched. If I take this the other way, take this, speed it up, it'll be. And it's got an arpeggiator. Which would be nice if you had the arpeggiator on. Let's put that on. And if I took that down while he's doing that. You can still get effects. You can put a rotary on or something. Oh, an amplifier on. He's doing the mod wheel as well. Okay, play, uh, here's a rotary on. Or it's got phaser on it. And then it's got the arpeggiator window again, at, um, so you can change the rate or change the feel of the rhythm if you wanted to. Cool, um, then so then... A deep version of it. Let's go to the deeper version. The deep and deeper, which is uh, tuned down by two octaves. Hang on, wait, it's gonna have to take a wee while to load. Okay, I'll just, we put a, uh, just because it sounded good, we've turned the delay up on this a little bit, the level of the delay. When you load it, it'll have that, you can go and change the time of the delay. You can put, turn the amplifier up, and you can make that quite short. And then turn on the arpeggio. fun with that. And then the last of our synthesizers is the... The Rintin Tin Arp 2000. Yeah. Okay, let's hear it. What does it do? Ah, does this. Put the arpeggiator on straight up. Again, it's got the stretch function. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. I've been Dave. And I've been Steve. You've been uh, watching a walkthrough of the Mod World Biscuit Tin Guitar Library. Um, thanks for watching. If you want to listen to some real music, you could go and listen to the demos that are up on SoundCloud and can be accessed via our Mod Wheel website.